Welcome to the Daily Divination. Today is Tuesday, it is November 2nd, and we're gonna be talking about today's astrological chart and then pulling some tarot messages at the end. So be sure to stick around for that. I am doing a live gem show over on Instagram tonight, so meet me over there if you're interested in that. That's gonna be happening around 8 p.m. The time is announced in my Instagram stories. All right, so let's dive right on in here. And of course, we're gearing up for this new moon happening in two days on November 4th. So you're gonna to wanna to check back throughout the week to see how this energy is going to build up. But today is November 2nd, and I pulled out the chart for 2.16 a.m. here in Lafayette, Louisiana, because I wanted to show you guys the main aspect coming exact that's gonna be playing throughout the day. So it's starting and um, getting exact very early this morning, like I said, 2.16 p.m. or a.m. But what we have here, is Mercury making a square over to Pluto and that is a challenging aspect that we're seeing up here at the top of the screen so what I see here difficulties okay so what happens here is that this is a very deep energy um, when you have mercury and pluto squaring this is talking about thinking deeply and also interacting in very intense and real ways it's because we're feeling compelled in some way so there is some sort of idea topic interest that's going on that is really compelling us and it, there is a tendency with this aspect with mercury and pluto that we're taking it just too seriously these could be you know kind of conspiratorial thoughts things that aren't you know agreed upon by the collective yet or whatever it might be and i just want you guys to know that the more intensely that you focus on this and the more intensely that you want to um, try and talk to other people or convince other people like this, the more issues and criticisms, conflicts, and just clashes that you're going to meet. So today is not really that day. Today is the day to challenge your thinking. And, you know, one thing that we could be a little bit more in tune with under this transit than normal is just the darker side of nature, the darker side of human nature, um, are just a little bit you know, the underlying truths that could be influencing or ruling our lives or the lives around us. So it's not uncommon um, that someone could make a discovery on something that's kind of fringe or considered like a conspiracy theory and then want to go tell everyone about it and then people start to view them in a different way and things under this particular transit. Just know that this is also a transit where defensiveness is going to be very high. So that combination between kind of extreme ideas and thoughts and really wanting to force this on other people and also this defensiveness well I think you can understand that this is not a time to bring out the energy of combativeness or wanting to force things upon people this is much better time to recognize that your curiosity was piqued and that's what caused you to open your mind and look in certain directions and if you want to share that with other people you can do things to pique their curiosity but it's always best to not just you know dump a whole load in their lap and expect them to sort through all this information that you've been you know sorting through over the past couple of days building up to this so just understand that this could be a difficult time there could be a little bit of a crisis or something coming up that we feel that we need to investigate the truth of and secrets and mysteries could be you know abounding in this period of time but we really want to make sure this is a transit that asks us definitely take the high road don't argue <laughs> in fact a lack of arguing could actually lead to deeper insights from you or who you're talking about so it's better to surprise people by the fact that maybe they think you're going to be argumentative or force something on them and instead it's just an idea you have and you don't need it to be anyone else's that's definitely the vibe for today let's go ahead and pull out some tarot cards which deck do I want to use let's play with this one today and um, so we're gonna look at what messages want to come out for the collective today. What messages want to come out for the collective today? Thank you. What messages want to come out for the collective today? All right, let's see what we've got here for you guys. We've got the Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords coming up with the Queen of Cups reversed. And um, I was pulling, I was uh, feeling called to pull a card from this deck today as I was picking out my card deck. This one was kind of doing this little visual vibration thing sometimes that things do when they have a message for me. 
movement choices and decisions how funny <laughs> and i put it here next to the four of swords a card of certainly no movement <laughs> Okay, let's look at this all together. Two queens and a page. Gosh, there could be a lot of people around you that you're dealing with or trying to juggle the energies of today. This could be a day where you're just kind of um, dealing with the dynamics of a lot of people. What is that um, kind of, uh, you know, just playing it safe or there's kind of political maneuvers or, you know, things you're doing to appease uh, more than one person. So what I see here is that you have new ideas, new creative ideas, and you are feeling like they are resetting the basis and foundation of who you are. Maybe you have some new ideas, some new passions. This could be in love. This could be in work. This could be in creativity. Um, you know, I always view the wand as being very phallic. So it could be just something you're seeing that you really want to pursue and you want to go after it. You want to make it yours and you want to build the foundation of your life with it, but you're not sure how to go after it. And you feel like there could be some difficulty here in obtaining it that could bring you a little bit of emotional distress. So today, is a day where it's saying movement choices and decisions as the energy to move forward with what this is saying to me really is basically that it's really important that you focus on what's right in front of you there could be so many opportunities presenting themselves today but not any not all of them can you actually physically touch or interact with today oh this energy could arise but it's not coming till next week or things like that right and so this energy is telling you just mess with and focus on what is directly in front of you right now what do you want to focus your intention on or attention on? I feel like if you try to um, put your energy into too many different directions, you're going to end up dropping the ball on something important here. And so it's really important to recognize that sometimes you can just juggle two or three things at once and the other things have to wait their turn. What is it that you're wanting to stay focused on today? And then what is it that you can actually see take a move like um, that you can actually see a way to take a movement forward on it, that you can see it and you can actually see the next step for it as well. So anything that you have in front of you that you could take a step to further today, today would be a great day to do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I have for you guys today. You know, later on in the evening, I do think that some of us could be feeling um, just drawn to having a more open and honest conversation with someone around us. But I, I really also feel like there is just so much restraint. We have a square happening tomorrow and stuff that's going to be feeling just, you know, a little bit of um, confined energy. So one thing you just want to recognize is that, you know, where do your loyalties lie? I guess that's really what it is today because there's time to really look at a situation in our lives and take on a little bit more responsibility for what's going on and recognizing that some commitments we have might be conflicting with other commitments that we want to have and where do our allegiances lie? What's most important to us? What do we see furthering the vision of our lives? All right, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here with me each and every day. I will see you next time. And until then, I am singing so much bliss in your direction.